and we're back with another SQL Sunday. Let's jump into it. Okay, so this question that we have here today is from Airbnb. Find the minimum, average, and maximum rental price for each review qualification category. The review qualification category is a classification applied to each rental property based on the number of reviews the property has. Okay, so it's defined below like this. Cool. Okay, let's look at the table here. So, okay, Airbnb search details. This is a big table. Uh, lots of things going on. Let's see. Hmm. So we want to look at the review qualification. So we're looking at the number of reviews the property has. So we're basing these um, classification on that. So let's see if one of these columns gives us a hint about the number of reviews. Okay, okay, bathroom, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, cool. So number of reviews is literally here. This is really nice. Uh, I actually thought that it would be more complex since, you know, maybe it would be like each review and then you had to aggregate it, but it already has a number of reviews here for us. That's great. So let us have a plan as to what we're going to do. So finally, we want our expected output to look like, so reviews, qualification, oops, slight spelling error there. Reviews, qualification, um, let's comment this out. Min price, average price, and max price. Max price. Cool. All right, so what assumptions do I have? Okay, so first assumption is that all the values are going to be an integer. So I'm going to assume that we don't have any null values here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to assume that it's going to be positive integers for this. What other things do I have? I think that's about it. Cool. All right, we can go on to what we're going to do. So first thing we're going to do is do declassification. And to do this, we're going to use case one statements. Should be pretty straightforward. And then after we do that, I am going to um, just do aggregation. So group by the rental price, oops, not rental price, um, group by qualification category, and then aggregate min, average, and maximum price. Cool. All right, let's do this query. So from Airbnb search details, uh, case when, what is it called again? Number of reviews. Number of reviews is equal to zero, then no. When number of reviews is Oops, not is <laughs> between one and five, then few. When number of reviews between six and fifteen, then some. When number of reviews between 16 and 40, then many. Ah. When number of reviews, actually, we can just do this. Else, a lot, because we're assuming since um, it's not going to be null and it's going to be positive, so this should catch everything else. 
has more than 40 reviews. Okay, so end as, what is it called again? Oh yeah, reviews qualification. Cool. Um, so now we can do like a subquery for this, uh, like nested, but I always prefer to use CTs because I just think it's a lot clearer for the interviewer to read and also for you to not get confused. Oh, oops, one thing, one thing, one thing. Uh, we also need a price, right? Because we are aggregating by price. Cool. All right. So let's call this with um, class uh, with reviews as here. And we can do from reviews. Now we're going to group by qualification category. So let's write the select statement first. Select reviews, qualification, um, what is it? Minimum, so minimum of price as min price. Average as price as average price. And max price. X. <laughs> max price as uh, max price. Cool. And then we're going to group by one. Let's see. Let's see. Looks good to me. Fingers crossed. Run our code. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I forgot to write the select statement. Whoops. Okay. Rookie mistake. <laughs> okay, this should work now. Yay. Okay, good. We got this right. All right, is there any other way that we can optimize things? You could use a subquery, like just nest it and not save it as a table. So that would optimize, actually no, I don't, would that even optimize things? Um, that's a good point, let's check that out. So let's see like CT versus subquery performance. Okay, so they're actually the same. Since both provide the same information to a query optimizer, use more than once can be easily identified calculators that could then be stored. Okay. So they're actually the same in terms of performance. So I don't think we can actually optimize it based upon that. And I don't think that we can optimize it in any other way either. Okay, so they did a, a subquery here. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same solution. It's just a subquery. I generally just prefer using CTs as opposed to subqueries. But yeah, we're done with this episode and feel free to check out Strata Scratch. Um, I will link it below as well. All right, see you guys next time.
traveling star strong from